All right, guys, if you want your doors to shut like this every single time, then you're in absolutely the right spot. You clicked on the right video. In 12 minutes, in just over 12 minutes, I'm going to give you guys 20-plus years of experience here. So stay tuned, watch the entire video, because at the end, I'm even going to show you how to learn how to install these frames as well. So stick around, watch the video, and uh, maybe take some notes. All right, so here we go. I always start on the inside, no matter what. I always start on the inside of the doors and the rooms, if possible, okay? Now, uh, in this situation, I, I'd already started the drywall, and I'm ba basically what it's called back boarding, right? So that means I'm not drywalling the hinge side first. However, I always laser in the hinge side, okay? Always laser that in and um, make sure when you put all your pieces in that that doesn't change, okay? You want your hinge side to be mint. Now with these doors with the without the spreader bars on the bottom as well, you want to always keep an eye on, make sure everything's nice and square. Um, but if you it, in framed it properly, then you, you probably did. So I also have videos on how to frame the uh, openings out as well. So stay uh, look out for those or check out my uploads, my metal framing playlist. Anyways, there's the order of things from back framing, right? The top buck and then the end buck and then the two legs, right? But I, I always put the hinge side leg in and then the other side. So right here, you measure up, bottom up and over and you add a half inch to, you know, so the board goes inside on the sides, but you wanna uh, make sure that the board cuts into the bottom of the, uh, the casing there. And you'll see what I mean, so that it f slides inside. And that's uh, simple, you just draw it out on the board here and cut it out and slip it in, watch, a little bit further on the second door that I put in here, I go into a lot more detail. This is just kind of like the quick, uh, quick door, just so people can get an idea of what we're doing, and then I break it down a little further on the next door frame. But yeah, you see, there's a half inch spacer on the bottom. Always using that half inch spacer. Uh, the frame, the board is tight, right? It's tight all the way around uh, the frame, so that's good. Um, and same thing, right? So I put the big piece in there. Uh, you don't put in bucks. In if on like if if you can get a whole piece, it's called a hook piece. That first piece I just put in. If you can get a hook piece in, great. But uh, a lot of the times you can only get one of those on, and then the next piece will be a buck like this, right? And then see, I generally stay away from the corner. You see how I come in at the top there? Uh, at least an inch right away from the corners is where you want to leave your screws and the headers, right? So and then there, yeah, I just put this piece in. You can see that. I uh, pre-cut it so that I can leave my next piece a quarter inch shorter, and then I have a nice corner for the corner bead, right, the, with the uh, quarter inch gaps. But yeah, screw in the bottom track as normal. Uh, make sure to screw in the, uh, the actual door studs all the way up as well. Some big guys actually skip that part. But um, yeah, that's looking good. All right, one, two, three. Three pieces there. All right, this door here, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit more. Uh, so at first, we kind of bang in all the wafers and anything that's sticking out. So uh, if you have clips that are wrapped around the studs, you want to bang in all the wafers, uh, give yourself a little bit more room. Again, there you see the, the lasers on the hinge side of the frame. This is the hook piece. This is what I call the hook piece. And watch on the floor there by the frame. You'll see my spacer is right there but on the right at the bottom of the, uh, the door uh, jam itself. So uh, take note of that. I always put my, my spacer there uh, when I'm putting in the hook pieces. Um, so yeah, if it's less than 16 inches, uh, 16 inches or less uh, to hook into the door frame, do a hook piece. But if it's more than 16 inches, uh, cut a buck in. And you'll see what I mean. So get the corner in, the bottom corner in first, right? And then slide it up like that. There you go. See that? Boom. Beauty, beauty. If you're having issues with your uh, pieces getting in uh, the frames, 45 the back corners as well if you're having issues. I actually built the these frames so the uh, width is perfect. Uh, on, a, on, a, on a 3 and 5 eighths wall with 5 eighths drywall. Here, hold on a second. Um, so yeah, measuring for the top piece over, you go, that is going to be tight. Okay, you're going to maybe leave it a little bit short just so it's not you're not fighting to get it in. Um, but top down, right? You measure right to the top, the bottom of the the casing there. Okay, because you want it to go straight in, and the little leg piece needs to be able to jump up, right? And there's a little, you'll see, there's a tab 
on the corner there that will not allow the that drywall to go down, hook down, right? It has to be straight across at the, the bottom of the casing there, right? So uh, there's a there's actual piece in there preventing it from going in uh, and down any further. So and then you anyway. So I built these frames all all around, and so I know the thickness is good. Normally you'll get them uh, like five and three quarters thick, uh, wide. Sorry, uh, because I built these, they're adjustable width. I built them to um, four and or sorry five and seven eighths. Four right? No four a four and seven eight finish. Uh, anyways, yeah, no, it's five and seven eighths finish, sorry. Instead of the five and three quarter, I gave myself that extra inch because that's exactly what you need. And it's tight all the way around. It's perfectly fire rated. So I'm just saying if, you get, if you're having issues getting the board in, 45 the back sides on both sides of the door and, uh, and you shouldn't have any issues. I actually, I, I didn't cut this short because I wanted to show you how many screws go in to these pieces and um, see how I'm screwing in the, the door stud all the way up as well. You just want to do that because it makes it just so much stronger when you, when you, screw, it all, when you screw it all up properly, right? Um, and then, yeah, you always hit the, the header track and yeah, I missed there. Dumb, dumb. But yeah, get uh, get your screws in that door stud. You, you can see there. That's actually the door stud there. Um, and then the one on the inside there was a was a center, a 16. So, but yeah, yeah. Make sure you screw it up good. And um, yeah, man, screw the whole piece off so you don't have to get up back up on the ladder and get up there. And you guys notice, like I am backboarding and I'm screwing in the header and the door studs, but I, I have the laser on the hinge side the whole time. So I know I'm good, right? And there, see, I'm measuring tight there, and then I'm adding a half inch so that it'll slip in. Yeah, you see how tight it is? That little tab there gave me a really hard time. I'll link a video here to show you how long it actually took me to get this piece in. I'll link that video right here. Uh, but that is the cause. That tab there gave me a lot of trouble. Um, yeah, so then this is the inside leg here. Um, it's going to be tight. You just, you just get it snug in there so that it doesn't fall down and it, it just, you know, just pop, pop, pop with your hand and then I go get a drywall hammer. This is what I call the drywall hammer and you just, uh, bang it in nice and, uh, nice and easy and it works really well. So it just pop, pop in and it's good. And then you want to uh, li uh, use the lifter there to lift it if it, there's any space there between that and the top buck piece and boom, see that nice and tight. Some mint, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to screw down the um, the wall stud here, the one that's uh, locked in to the corner here. Uh, I'm going to screw down that first, and I'm going to double check. I'm going to make sure everything's good on the hinge side because there's no bottom spacer there, right? There's no spacer bar at the bottom. So I just want to make sure um, it is perfect. It didn't pop out when I was putting in the other side or anything like that. Uh, this one here, I do have to move it in a little bit at the bottom. So uh, you'll see, I'll just finish screwing it off. I'll put a, I'll put, I'll always put uh, a screw in the bottom track, eh? Even on these little pieces, I always put one there at the bottom in the middle there. But yeah, just kick that in there. Just, you know, it just, boom, make sure it's good and it's mint. And then you screw, uh, you screw it off. And there's just a close up there. You see how it's perfect, right? Absolutely perfect. And I and you saw at the beginning of the video the doors they shut perfectly and that was my first attempt to hanging them too right I uh, didn't have to take them down make any adjustments the doors fit perfectly uh, the very first time and and that's usually the case I've never had an issue of the people like and nobody's ever had to take my doors apart right or take anything out to, uh, to fit the doors and they always fit um, people don't realize it's up to the drywaller to finish the the door like it's our responsibility to make sure the door frames are all level right um that's that's what drywall does it's the final piece in these doors that's why people are like oh you know why don't you put the drywall on first and then the frame that's just not how it works in steel stud drywall and commercial anyways yeah, well, yeah, right? keep the laser on it all the time you should drywall the hinge side first if you can um but because we're drywalling this way i finished it in you can do it the way you just got to be careful sometimes it's actually a good idea to leave the stud the screws off around uh, off the track and like the header track and the door studs until the, the all the drywall's in and then screw from this side over but <clears throat> i had the laser on the whole time keeping an eye on it so boom baby all right now we're coming out to the final uh, outside here and like i said before too always drywall the inside first if you can um and that first piece here was a was a was a 
full sheet. So I put the full sheet in. And then you can see here, the the hook piece would be too funny to have a little tiny sliver and then hooking over, you know, like a full 48 like that. It's like, or uh, it would be like 40 inches there or something stupid. So this, this here, I put a buck in the top and I'm going to put a leg in the bottom there. Okay. But in, the, in this, this order, I'm going to go the top buck and then I'm going to go to the hinge side and then I'm going to come back to the, uh, the other side. Yeah, and again, yeah, the screwing off, um, uh, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea, you know, like, how, how to be ready with your screws, and, you know, if you're paying attention here, you, you've probably noticed a lot, um, there's the bottom spacer there, as well, always using that spacer, uh, kicking that in just nicely, should all fit in nice, you know, um, and like I said, if you got the standard doors, you have any issues, 45 all the pieces in the back, right, uh, the, like the sides that are going into the um the door frame right so the 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 drywall has to go inside the frame to be fire rated that's uh that is part of the part of the code these these rooms here are, are going to be air tight and everything uh fireproof they're yeah they're, this is uh this is in a painting and a sandblasting shop so they, the fire code is they're pretty crazy they they want um they wanted it to be like uh air sealed or something like that i don't know it's gonna be it's crazy so it's gonna be cool um but yeah, just just uh, just thinking about that, you know, you guys just in, just in a short video, you've seen uh, you've seen me. I've, I've been doing this for man so long, like more than twenty years. I'm not gonna count, but a long time. And um, yeah, you, what you've just seen is, you know, it's the same thing every time. You just gotta be smart and uh, know when to use a hook piece and the bucks and the legs and all that. Um, if you guys seriously have any questions whatsoever make sure to leave them down below in the comments because I always, always answer you. Um, be sure to do that, okay? And the playlist here, right to the, um, right to your right, sorry, will teach you how to install these frames. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.